So today I'm on the allotment <clears throat> and I've started to plant things out here. Um, today I am planting out my sweet peas, so the ones that we planted in the root trainers. Um, so this is the root trainers, I just planted one. Um, and I thought I'd show you what it looks like. So as you can see, I've not had brilliant germination on my sweet peas this year. Um, they've been pretty dire to be honest. Um, but I think what it is, is the tray that I did, I did another tray like this yesterday, which was about the same. Um, and I couldn't find a pea in any of them, and I think it's the mice. Um, they had my sunflowers the other day, and I think they've been getting their sweet peas. Never mind, so let's carry on and put the rest of these out, and then they can start getting growing for me. Ready? Okay, so these are the root drainers. Okay, that's what they look like, and then all you do is you unclip them, and then that's what they look like. I have just taken this one out already. Um, and as you can see, the roots come down along these um, sort of gullies that are in the root trainer, and it brings the roots down. You see, this one's got really good roots here. Okay, so first thing you need to dig your hole, so you need to go fairly deep. Obviously, to get the whole root trainer in, and then you just flip it out of it, and that's how they come. Pop them in like that, and then we'll just fill around like that. I just push real gently, not too much. So as well as doing the sweet peas that we've just put in, I'm going to put in the heleniums. I brought them with me. Um, I dug them out of the very front bed, I think probably two months ago, and they just weren't doing very much and the soil looked really poor. So um, I dug everything out and I re-composted the whole bed and then I dug some um, farmyard manure in as well. So I brought them with me and I'm actually going to start planting them. Um, I've got heleniums, oh and I've got some gypsophila as well, which came out of that bed. But since then I've planted it's a bit windy. I hope you can hear me actually still, I'm a bit worried about the wind. Um, yeah, so since then I've actually planted some flocks in there so I probably won't get all of these in. Um, but I think I'm going to try and put, actually I might try and put the jip in because something's happened to my Ami Majors. I don't know what's happened, I'll show you what's happened to it. So this is my Ami bed and they've all gone a bit yellow and then some of them are just looking like this and it's not water, um, because if you dig down, there's water, but I dug one up, let's pull this dude up, because he's going to die, and, okay, so that's where the root was, if I dig the root up, something funny going on with the roots, all the roots have gone, all the roots have gone corkscrewy, and I don't know, it's just, look, they're weird. It's almost like they've got clubfoot, which I've had on cabbages and stuff here before, so I'm wondering whether it's the same sort of thing. So if anybody knows why this has happened, leave a 
um, leave me a message in the comments because I just don't know what's happening with this. So I'm glad I've got the Jits Offler actually because I wanted something like floaty and white to go in the bouquets, which is what I was going to use the Ami for. Um, the Jits Offler, I'm not keen on the smell of it, but you need something just to lighten some of the bouquets up, especially if you're putting them with dahlias or something. Um, so I'm glad I bought the jit now because I wasn't sure whether I really needed it, but I'm going to need it I think this year. So I'm going to plant and it's a perennial one, so that's good. If I want to plant it, I'll keep coming back. So I'm going to get that in the ground now. I've got my jips. This, these are my jip. Um, so that's the jips off there. there. Um, and these are the heleniums. This is my drink. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go and put those in. Let's do that quickly before I have to go and pick the children up. This is the bed that they're going in. Apologies for the wind today. And as you can see, these are the flocks that I've put in and they've done really well. And they're really enjoying being here. So this is a mixed flocks. I'm not entirely sure. I think they are um, pinks and purples um, on these. Um, and then a bit further back, I've just got some nigella. And then I've got great big daisies. It's called crazy daisies. They've got really raggedy leaves. Um, but those bits were already in there, so I've put these in. So this is the part, as you can see, it's a bit dry at the moment, but I've improved the soil with um, manure and compost. Um, so let's hope that helps. So what I've decided to do is do a spacing of approximately 30 centimetres between each plant. Um, so hopefully that will be enough. So I should be able to get four across this whole bed. So let's pop these in. Some are definitely looking better than others. I think they struggled over the winter. Maybe I should. So I've learnt from last year. Um, when I get bare rooted plants, not to put them straight in the ground. I think what I'll do is pot it all up and then plant it in the spring. Last year I was a bit excited to get it in the ground and nothing that I planted in the ground has done too well. And I've had to dig it up and repot it, so definitely a chip for next year. I'm just doing that. They're looking really good now, so I'm going to get them in. Um, any that are still looking a little bit sorry for themselves, like this one, I'll probably take home and nurture on a little bit longer, um, see how they go, and then bring them out. I'll leave them for them. So, again, same spacing. Um, I think I'm going to space these the same as the flocks, actually, which is three across. Um, So that's lots of things planted today. So that's nice. I've got the sweet peas done. Um, I've got the heleniums in. I've got the gypsophila in. Um, if anybody does know what's happening with my Ami, please let me know. Um, I'm a bit disappointed. I've been growing that since I put it in on the 30th of August last year. And it was doing so well. I don't really know what's going on. Um, but it's a bit disappointing. But there we go. Um, but yeah, if anyone knows what's going on, let me know. Anyway, I've got to go and get my kids from school, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.